Release your past by going back to the future. My beloved ones, this is a most critical time in your transmutation ascension process, a time when you are most vulnerable to outside influence and concepts. New information, methods, and theories are brought forth daily for you to contemplate, investigate, and integrate. But what is true and what is not? How do you discern? Have we not told you that you are to sort and glean through the multitude of concepts that are being brought forth and discern what is your truth? You and you alone can decide what is right for you and what path of awareness you are to follow. For you are a unique and vital creation of the divine mind. There are many smaller dramas being played out in the greater drama of transformation and evolution and you cannot totally comprehend or envision what is occurring in this beautiful dance of ascension back into the realms of enlightened reality. It is just one more step on the path back to your home among the stars. What may seem to many of you as a negative or punishment is in reality a necessary step toward jolting you out of your complacency or out of your old pattern of thinking. Many beautiful and brave servants of the light have accepted the task of being the catalyst for mind and heart-shaking events so that they will be shocked into their higher awareness and will begin to think for themselves. At a divine level, they accepted the opportunity to do the Creator's work, no matter what the cost or condemnation. We honor these magnificent and wondrous beings, for their task is not an easy one. Because you are in a very critical phase of your illumination process, a time when you are most vulnerable and your trials and tests are not as dramatic as in the past. Quite often you are confused and not know what the next step is or what the next truth is that you are to incorporate into your ever-changing reality. Many of you are falling back into the old patterns of allowing others to do your thinking, to lead the way without question, without validating what is your truth by going inward and connecting to that infallible source, your own divine presence. You are still seeking outside yourself, turning to those you think are more powerful or more knowledgeable than you, hoping they will lead the way so you will not have to step to the foray, into the line of fire or into untested territory. We tell you, beloved ones, this will not work. You, as a light warrior, must lighten your own path. Draw on your own precious wisdom, which has been paid for and won through many long ages of experience, trials, and suffering. A great variety of loving, dedicated messengers and teachers have been thrust out into the arena of public service in order to give you access to the multitude of new information that is pouring forth since the ring passed not, or the quarantine was lifted from the earth. But with the plethora of information, much of what is in harmony with the concepts and teachings of the hierarchy and beings of light, there is still information that is brought forth in thought forms that are filtered through the belief system and reality of the messenger. Information that is conflicting and confusing, some partially true, much shaded truth, and even some distorted fallacies picked up from the myth of mass consciousness. This is a testing ground, you see. You are learning to use gifts and abilities that have lain dormant for centuries beyond centuries. You are not judged by your score or level of authenticity as you move into the realm of illumined truth only by your intent. Each person who channels or brings forth information will find a following for that level of knowledge. Those who will learn from it, much of which has not been available to you before. Insights, tools, and methods you will need to traverse the spiral of ascension. Sometimes you will bring forth the innocence of spirit a gentle loving nature that resonates with unconditional love to be a shining example of a true master. And others may be teaching the lessons of discernment, quite possibly through painful experience, so that you will come to realize you can no longer give your truth or power away to another. You must take the information offered and validate it in your own heart center, thereby attuning more and more with your own divine intuition. You may not have all the information and the knowledge and it is not necessary, for that is the role of these messengers of the higher realm, to give you a wide variety of viewpoints, a panorama of information gleaned from the universal mind or from their own memory banks of ancient experience, so that you can choose what resonates more closely to your lineage, your heritage, and your destiny. 
But you must find your own spiritual truth via conscious awareness, mental discernment, and intuitive attunement with your higher self. You have within your divine blueprint a memory of where you came from, your cosmic origins. You have indelibly stamped there how it was in the beginning, this garden of Eden, planet Earth, this most wondrous place of beauty and perfection. But as eons passed, these perfect memories have faded, been covered over, replaced, or distorted by all the effluvia, negativity, limitation, and isolation you came to accept as your reality. We ask you to release your past so that you can recapture that memory of perfection, that perfect you that descended, a fully empowered representative of the Creator, in order to assist in bringing forth all the great varieties of expression and creation to the precious planet Earth. Each level of higher vibration you attain sets up a resonance within your physical vessel that sends waves of this new frequency down into the very core of your being. It then begins to vibrate loose those core memories or energies that are not compatible with these more refined frequencies. Many of these residual energies come from your ancient past, memories of your first experience of failure, betrayal, and separation in the physical. They have been with you so long that you have accepted them as who you are, and they have had an impact on you in some ways in every lifetime and you have lived since you became disconnected from spirit and sank down into the quagmire of limitation and the swirling negative energy spewed out by humanity. In order to release these ancient memories that are still holding you in bondage, you must go back to that time of perfection when you were in a beautiful, etheric, physical body. When you were a co-creator of this pristine planet living in paradise, and when we interacted, communed, and labored together in perfect harmony, building a new world from a blueprint sent forth from the God mind. This was a wondrous new experiment, a unique concept and a never-ending spiral of creation. A time when you were innocent and pure in your delight of expressing, creating, experiencing, and sharing. But in order to get there, you must break through the layers upon layers of thought forms that are no longer yours. They are not who you are. Let them go. You have learned your lesson. You have integrated the knowledge and wisdom this physical experience had to offer. It is time to let them go. Run the words through your mind that create pictures or activate memories. If they create feelings of love, peace, harmony, and unity, then they are memories and energies that you brought with you from your divine self. But if they bring you fear, depression, or anxiety, then they are concepts of limited thinking that you have incorporated into your reality since assuming your cloak of flesh. Failure, unworthiness, abandonment, scarcity, rejection, betrayal, bondage, slavery, manipulation, imprints, encoding, devils, demons, Satan, hell, and darkness are all words that set off frequencies and memories of fear in you. More crippling in some than others, depending how much of these impacted energies have been released and set free back into the light of illumined truth. Words cannot hurt you, but these memories and impacted energies can keep you tied to the wheel of karma and enslaved in the illusion of the third dimension. You no longer walk through the shadows alone. You no longer tread through the dark night of the soul alone. For the angels and your divine I Am presence are with you. Even though you may veer from the straight and narrow path now and again, you are quickly nudged back by spirit. For these are most wondrous and exceptional times. Never before has humanity had such a precious gift offered to them, that of mastership and illumination in one lifetime. But there are pitfalls, tests, and trials along the way. We will assist you and walk beside you. But we will not hold your hand and lead you. We will guide you, but we cannot remove or help or evade your lessons. That responsibility lies solely with you, for you are in training to, once again, be a master of co-creation of paradise worlds. Leave the fear behind, precious warriors. Leave the memories of failure behind as well, for this time you will not fail. It is imperative that once and for all you decide how you will create your future, your new reality. Will it be from someone else's blueprint, their point of view, or your own? Will it be by someone else's method or your own? 
Will you live someone else's dream or your own? You must decide now. The wonderful servants who so faithfully devote their energy, time, effort, and creative endeavors are to be honored and commended, and theirs is a momentous task. But they are gifted with their abilities and insight to give you guidelines, to give you a variety of viewpoints and concepts to choose from, so that you may gain a broader spectrum of the higher truth, so you may glean from all the information and concepts that which will increase your knowledge and awareness. Then you must sort out the knowledge which resonates with your inner truth and incorporate it so it becomes your wisdom and a part of your personal expression. An expression of wisdom and truth that will resonate in perfect harmony with your divine self so that, more and more, you will eliminate the distorted truth and energies that keep you from merging with that powerful, most wondrous part of yourself, the real you. You are breaking through the final levels of illusion. Most of you have moved out of the third dimension of pain and suffering and now are swirling through the emotional levels of the astral planes of half-truth, glamour, mystery, and myth of the fourth dimension. There are many enticing thought forms and realities which can draw your attention away from the higher goal of illumination and ascension into unity and harmony with your divine self. Do not tarry along the way, my faithful ones. Your true destiny is in sight. Hold on, hold on, we are almost there. My profound love and gratitude to you all, my faithful servants of light. I am Archangel Michael. So be it.